For the first time, members of Congress are calling for a government investigation into allegations from Hertz rental car customers. These individuals say they were falsely arrested after Hertz reported the cars they legitimately rented were stolen. CBS News has been investigating this for more than six months. Hundreds of Hertz customers have filed claims in federal bankruptcy court saying they rented a vehicle from Hertz but were later accused of stealing it. Many went to jail, some for weeks or months. Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal tells CBS News he believes government agencies need to begin investigating these claims. In a letter first obtained by CBS News, Massachusetts Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren is asking the White House Competition Council to examine consolidation in the rental car industry. She also specifically pointed out the allegations against Hertz, saying, quote, Alarmingly, Hertz customers were repeatedly arrested for driving rental vehicles the company accidentally reported as stolen. And a disturbing pattern has led to traumatic experiences, job losses, and even jail time for their customers. Joining us with more is CBS News consumer investigative national correspondent Anna Warner. She's been investigating this story for over six months now. Anna, great to have you with us. Such excellent reporting you've been doing on this story. Can you detail us, detail for us what exactly these senators are calling for? So this is really the first time that we are hearing from members of Congress looking at this and saying, we think that there's enough here that really somebody needs to take a look at this. So Senator Warren, of course, she's been looking at the rental car industry sort of writ large and problems as she sees them with consolidation and poor customer service. And now she's adding to that saying, and by the way, what about these allegations of false arrests from hundreds of Hertz customers this is something that ought to be part of that picture when we're studying this. She's talking to the White House Competition Council. Then you have Senator Richard Blumenthal, who is a former state attorney general, a former prosecutor, who talked to us and in our interview said, look, clearly to him, a government, investi- uh, a government agency needs to be investigating what is happening here. He said that in terms of Hertz, that this is a problem with Hertz and the justice process. So he is calling for a government investigation. He also says he's considering holding a hearing because he chairs the Consumer Protection Subcommittee uh, in the Senate. Anna, as you mentioned, there are hundreds of people who say they were victimized by Hertz. What is their status of their claims and, and why are they in bankruptcy court? So these are people who say, look, I legitimately rented a car from Hertz. And then at some point, for many of them, the police pulled them over, some of them at gunpoint, saying you're driving a stolen car or saying you stole this car. And these people were saying, I didn't steal a car. What are you talking about? I rented this car. This is the rental that I just picked up and sometimes in just hours before. And yet there some of them are being thrown in jail. So now they are in the bankruptcy court because, as you probably are aware, Hertz went through bankruptcy. That bankruptcy reorganization plan was approved mid last year. And so as a result of that, anybody that has any kind of a pending claim against Hertz, those all have to go into the bankruptcy court. It's the only option for you if a company has filed for bankruptcy. So these hundreds of people are basically in the bankruptcy court. And right now the judge is looking at How many of these people have a valid claim that they can then pursue either in the bankruptcy court or in a state court uh, typical lawsuit situation? So she's sorting through that right now. They're going to have another hearing on that uh, shortly. And Anna, tomorrow on CBS Mornings, you are going to air a piece about a former federal officer who says he became a victim of this. Can you give us a preview of his story? So this is a former federal law enforcement officer, about the last person I think you would expect to be pulled over by the cops and told you're driving a stolen car. But that is exactly what this gentleman says happened to him. It happened last year in May. And uh, the officers that was in Oklahoma City had their body cams on. And he had rather a tense exchange with one of the officers. Here's a clip of that body cam footage. I can book you into the worst county jail in the entire United States right now just based on me watching you leave that car and it being reported as stolen. Just like that, okay? And that's a felony charge you'll have to bond out on. Okay, I apologize. Wow. Incredible. I mean, it really is shocking to see that, Anna. And the officer was so calm. It's mystifying, right? 
Yeah, so, I mean, here's this former officer who's been through situations like this from the other side of the fence, and he's basically, you know, in his view, he blames Hertz because he says, look, if they had done their job, I would not have been in that situation, and these officers would not have been in this situation, and this could have been a dangerous situation. Now, for their part, Hertz says that in this instance that they had had a car that was reported stolen nine months before, but they say that they then recovered it and told police it was no longer stolen. Um, we've been trying to track down with the police what the truth is of that matter, but that's sort of their side of the story. But we're going to uh, share this story with you tomorrow on CBS Mornings uh, on the morning show, and you'll also hear from a former Hertz manager who has a few things to say about these theft reports filed against customers and whether he thinks they were necessary or not. And Anna, how has Hertz responded to all of the other allegations? So in response to Senator Warren's letter, they said they haven't seen it or received it, so they are not in a position to respond. But in response to Senator Blumenthal, they did send us a statement. That statement says that Hertz cares deeply about our customers and successfully provides rental vehicles for tens of millions of travelers each year. As it relates to the claims made against the company, we are committed to doing what is right by our customers while also continuing to protect and defend against activities intended to cause harm to Hertz. So the company basically coming out there and giving us that statement in response to the senators specifically. In the past, they've said that these incidents are very rare and that they make extensive attempts to contact customers, including sending them certified letters. All right. Anna Werner, thank you so much for that great reporting. We appreciate it. Again, you can watch Anna's interview with that former federal agent who says he became a victim in all of this tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Eastern on CBS Mornings.